Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my channel. I am a little over one month postpartum and in this video, I am finally ready to share my labor and delivery story. I am just amazed at um, God's faithfulness, God's goodness. Fun fact, my baby Ava, she was born on the same day that my third baby, Crystal, was born. So they share the same birthday. They are exactly two years apart on the same day. And I just think it's amazing. Um, we're super blessed. Um, how am I doing postpartum? I've just been resting, just been chilling, um, you know, just allowing my body to recover not trying to rush back you know into anything so thank you guys for your patience i know um i haven't been putting much content out but just been enjoying time um with my baby and you know it was crazy because i was late um or i it was past the due date they gave me but we all know that only god knows the true due date right and i you know, went past the due date that they gave me, but I wasn't surprised because all my other three babies um, were past the due date and I really didn't want to get induced. They said that if I didn't have the baby by the 8th, they would medically induce me and um, the 8th was the day she was born. So, you know, she didn't come and then on the 8th, when that day came, you know, I was scheduled to be induced at 5 a.m., but we had so much going on. It was crazy. Um, my family and I, we all had the flu and the night before I was just in the ER with my son, Blake, um, and he was super sick and stuff. So I was like, you know, I need to take care of my baby. So at first they were staying at grandma and papa's house. Um, but I ended up taking Blake and keeping him with me since he wasn't feeling well. And then the next morning, 5 a.m. rolled around. It was time for my induction, but I called them and I was like, um, you know, I'm unable to come. Can I maybe come into the induction later in the day? You know, can we delay it and push it back a little bit because I wanted to take care of Blake. So um, it's just funny how God orchestrated everything because because I was taking care of Blake and pushed my induction back. I didn't go into an induction and I've heard you know, inductions can be painful because they give you something to, you know, force contractions and those contractions can hurt when it doesn't come on naturally and you're not allowing your body to naturally do what God has created it to do. Um, so, you know, I didn't do the induction. That day was Crystal's birthday and um, I'm thankful because I went to um, my in-laws house, grandma and papa and um, Crystal and Evelyn were there and we got to do a little celebration for Crystal. And that's another reason why I wanted to um, kind of push the induction back because I don't care if I'm having a baby. I don't want to miss my other baby's birthday. Like it's important for me to be there. Happy birthday, Christy. How old are you? Say two. <laughs> Don't blow yet. We have to sing happy birthday before you blow. All right. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> happy birthday. Two. Wait, wait, wait. Ready, set, go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Crystal. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you? 
are you now? How old are you now? Happy birthday to you. Okay. Blow. 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 Let's stand up. Blow. 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 Blow, baby. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Blow. Blow. Good girl. Blow. Blow. Again. Woo! Keep going. Again. <laughs> hard, hard. Blow again. You have to blow it all out. Again. again. And I'll one more. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Chris. All right. Um, so we got to celebrate her birthday and we didn't do anything too big. It was really intimate. It was just us family. Um, you know, we got her some gifts and some presents to open up and, you know, cut a cake and she is just growing so beautifully. Um, I'm just so proud of that little girl. She's so cute. And um, yeah, it was just beautiful. So we got to just chill and relax and um, just spend time with our family. And, you know, God was just so good. So, you know, the day is progressing and I'm calling the hospital because they told me to call back and check to see if there are any beds available for the induction. So I, I called back like two or three times throughout the day. You know are there any beds available for the induction and they're like no there's nothing available it's a super busy day and um you know i just felt the holy spirit just whisper and say hey like i got you i know deep down inside you don't want to get induced so i stopped calling the hospital and just trust that i'm going to allow your baby come to come naturally and the baby's gonna be born today on the same day as Chrissy's birthday. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna call the hospital anymore. I am just going to chill out. I'm just gonna trust God. And, um, you know, it's gonna happen how it's supposed to happen. So I ended up taking a nap, um, a nice long nap. You know, those pregnancy naps feel so good, so amazing. Um, took a long pregnancy nap, my last pregnancy nap, and um, just rested. Just like, you know what? I'm just gonna trust the Lord. The baby gonna come when the baby comes, okay? And then, um, you know, woke up, ate, uh, because I'm like, I need to eat before I go to the hospital. And then um, me and my husband went to take a walk. And, you know, we took a little walk around the neighborhood and. When we got back from the walk, I immediately started having contractions. The contractions were like there was no buildup. It was like I went straight into labor. Usually like there's a buildup where your contractions, they're like, you know, um, 20 minutes apart and it builds up slowly. Like, no. OK, like <laughs> we got back into the house and I was having contractions and they were like five minutes apart and they would just started getting in a rhythm and they just started getting stronger. I had my tracker on my phone to kind of um, track the contractions and then it just kept building up and building up. And then um, I was like, okay, babe, I'm in labor. We need to get ready to go to the hospital just because I know my labors are super fast. Like they're so fast because <laughs> I've walked through this. This is my fourth kid. Um, like when Blake was born, when he came, like we went to the hospital and as soon as we got there, like we couldn't even get into like an actual birthing room. Like as soon as we got there, like I accelerated so quick because they weren't going to admit me. It's crazy. With Blake, I got to the hospital and they're like, well, you're not five centimeters dilated. I think I was maybe like three centimeters dilated or something. And, um, you know, they left the room and I prayed and I'm like, God, please don't let them send me home. Like, please let this baby come. And within 10 minutes, he was there. So I went from like three centimeters to like 10 centimeters pushing baby out. So just from my experience with past, um, and I'm sorry, guys, if you hear anything in the background, 
Um, there's someone mowing the lawn outside. But just from my experience with like past pregnancies, I was like, this is going to be quick, going to be real quick. So I went to um, the hospital. Um, they admitted me. They checked me. I think I was three centimeters when they checked me, but then I just was progressing really fast. Um, and all that to say, let me just give you a summary from the time that, you know, I got back into the house after our walk and then the contractions just started to the time that, um, Ava was born was just a four hour time span. So my labor was just four hours. It was quick. Um, just like all my other labors, like I didn't need to get an epidural. I, like I, it was just natural, unmedicated and I didn't have time. I didn't even have time. Like, even if I wanted to get an epidural or anything like that, I wouldn't have time to because it was just so quick. There wouldn't be any time. Um, so, yeah, I just had her naturally. Um, and, you know, she came out and she was just so cute, so beautiful. She had these, like, big, chunky cheeks. And I'm like, look at those cheeks. Like, eight pounds, three ounces. Ooh. All right, Daddy, here's the shot. How big was the biggest? Her. Her? <laughs> if there's a little square oh. top on it. Oh, my God, look at her. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> so okay. Um, so adorable, so precious. I'm just so thankful to uh, my husband who was there with me through this process. Um, and we were hoping, we thought it would be cool for her to be born on Evelyn's birthday. I mean, not Evelyn, on Crystal's birthday. See, I have that mommy brain where you switching up the names. Um, so she was born on Crystal's birthday and, um, it was just beautiful. So now they get to share a birthday party every year. <laughs> After a week postpartum, um, I was having like this this tightness in my chest, this pain in my chest, and my best friend, um, thankfully, she came up from South Florida just to come and check on me and help with the baby. But on her way up, I'm, and she's a nurse, on her way up um, to spend time with me, I was like, hey, bestie, I'm having this like tightness in my chest. So she came and she kind of checked me out because she's a nurse and she's like, you know, I recommend you get this checked out. Um, long story short, we went to the hospital. I ended up being admitted for um, severe preeclampsia. Um, this is basically like high blood pressure related to pregnancy. And I just thank God that she was there to be able to, because I wouldn't have went to the hospital probably if she wasn't there with me. Um, her husband was there and they were able to like help with the kids and do all that while I was in the hospital. And um, it just gave me, a t I needed that time to really rest. They had me on bed rest for 24 hours. Um, and I literally had to just sit there and do nothing and just pray, watch TV um, fast because they don't let you eat. So um, yeah, that's what happened there. I was in the hospital and I'm just thankful that my best friend was there to kind of give me a break and help with the kids. I am good now. It is a serious condition, um, but I'm healed in the name of Jesus. I am good now. I am home. And I just decided, you know, instead of rushing to get this video out there, let me just take the rest of the month and rest. So that's what I did. So I am now um, a month postpartum and um, 
that's where I am. That is my um, labor and delivery story. And I just thank God for helping my family get through that time. And I think that the severe preeclampsia that I had, like all of it was a sum up of us all having the flu before the baby. I gave birth to the baby with the flu. I had the flu giving birth to the baby. So even when they were telling me to push, they were like, breathe, breathe, breathe. And I'm like, I can't breathe because I was stuffy. I was congested. I feel like I couldn't even breathe. So getting over the flu, having a baby, and then my body's immune system was like weak and then being hit with the preeclampsia and still feeling like I couldn't breathe because of the high blood pressure. My heart was pumping really hard. Like, I just thank God that he got us through that. Um, everyone else in my family is good now, but it was definitely a testing time, but I could see how God was with it through that entire journey. So I'm gonna have you guys meet her. I'm gonna grab her really quick. This is little Ava. She's sleeping right now my baby <laughs> she's super she's super yummy and just cuddly i just love her she has some old milk on her face she's a breastfed baby i breastfed all my babies for um at least two years except for blake i breastfed him but i think it was more like maybe nine months or ten months um, but she's one month old and she loves to sleep and eat and spit up and she is just a joy. Say hi to our friends, mama. Say hi to mommy's YouTube. Oh, she, she's saying hi. Oh my God. Say hi to mommy's YouTube. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's just rubbing her eyes. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's so cute. Say hi. You praising the Lord? You praising the Lord? Oh my gosh. Is she saying hi for real? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You guys, like, I did not plan this. Like, she's legit saying hi. But. Okay, are you praising? Are you praising Jesus, girl? Oh, she's just stretching. She's just stretching. She, yeah, she just woke up. Um, I love you. I love you, Ava. Oh, she's stretching. Oh, you had a good nappy. You had a good nap. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, guys, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye.